Hey everybody, it's the sweetest vegan here and today on the show I'll be doing a review of Top Chef Just Desserts. I just thought it would be fitting of me to do a review of Top Chef Just Desserts. Since my world is like desserts and sweets and sugar and everything all the time, the winner of Top Chef Just Desserts is featured in Food & Wine Magazine, has a showcase at the Pebble Beach Food & Wine Festival, they win a Buick Regal, which is a car, they win $100,000 furnished by Godiva Chocolatier. So the people on the show, Zach, I like him, I like him a lot. Um, he reminds me of Michael Buckley here on YouTube from the What The Buck Show. Tania, I don't really remember what she made. I do remember that she was taking a break to come on the show from trying to get pregnant with her husband, which she's been trying to do that for three years. I think that's pretty sad when people can't have children. I also could not get past her bangs because they stopped like way up here and I just thought that was interesting. Eric the Baker, he was such a baker. I loved him, but he was a baker. He was kind of like fatherly and homely and I like that, but not for a pastry chef. The Heather with the scar right here who went home and came back, she was she was okay, but I just don't think she was confident enough in her craft to be competing at the level that they were competing at. Morgan. Love Morgan. Um, one of the most, all his desserts was fabulous. He always finished early, and I just thought all of his stuff was amazing. One time he injured somebody in the kitchen, and he came up with this quote that I love quotes. And then he said, if you go up to the post with Shaq once you get knocked down, you don't go back up to the post with Shaq again. So I love Morgan. Seth. Steph was crazy. No, he wasn't crazy. I hate to say that. He just really needed some counseling. The other Heather with the little attitude, she was short. She was great. I loved all her desserts. She was a great pastry chef, but she also, whenever she didn't perform up to par, she liked to play the victim, kind of. Tim. It's sad. I remember Tim from the show, but I think he went home kind of early because I don't remember anything he made, really. Erica. Love Erica. I thought she should have stayed on the show a little bit longer than what she did. I just think that they caught her on a really bad week. She made something that didn't taste up to par, but all her other desserts, like the margarita ice cream thing she did, that was amazing with the salt. I, I love that one. Darlene, I don't know why she stayed on the show so long. I liked her. I loved her, actually, but I thought she was more of a baker. You know, she's starting this new business. I thought she was more of a, a novice to the business. Yeet was really good. That's all I have to say about him. Yeet was good. I don't know how much. He was just good. And Malika, she went home, but I can totally understand why she went home. I mean, she went home because she thought that she didn't want to compete in that environment, even though she was a good pastry chef, in my opinion. She didn't want, she didn't like being a chef in that environment. I totally understand why she would go home and not want to compete. Because, I mean, if you're not happy doing it, why, why would you keep subjecting yourself? to that. An alliance formed on this show. It was called Team Go Diva. It was like Go Diva. It was two guys. It was Yeet, Zach, and Heather. Team Go Diva hated Team Go Diva. I loved all of them individually, but when they just get together and just like, uh, like Darlene said, they thought they were all like elitist and stuff. And it's like, really? My top three that I would choose to go on to the final round would be Heather, Yeet, and Morgan. I think if you had Heather, and Morgan together in the final round, it would be so much drama. It would have been so much more exciting to watch than to have Darlene, who was just like totally just appreciative to be there. I think Heather would have gave Morgan a run for his money, and he, he just deserved to be in the top three. Who would I pick to win? I'll pick Morgan. That dress that he made. He stuck to his conventions. He kept it simple. Just because he had more time, he didn't push it. He was the most confident in his craft to me. He was such a leader. He's such a great personality. Um, he knew what he was doing. That dress, I mean, everything he made just pretty much came out good. Except for that souffle he messed up at the end. That was about the only thing. Um, and Heather helped him with that, um, you know, as best as she could. So. All in all, I love the show. I can't wait till they come out with a season two. And when they do, I'll be more up to date with keeping up with it. And that is it. I see you tomorrow. Bye. This arm muscle is bigger than this arm muscle. At the time I'm on the diet, um, the, 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 the. her personality.